Now select your heroes. Oh, MJZ hasn't gone the second point, uh, second level, excuse me, in the arcane aura, which we see a lot of CMs do these days. As there we go, they make the move. Avalanche. And trying to get the Firefly underneath, find the kill, but in return, well, nice aggro spot there from Boom. So I'll Oh! Oh! That, that, that's what I mean. I, I, I thought, you know, if he got himself a hit with the, the with the tree and then threw the tree grab with the avalanche, I mean, he... it was one that you've already expended while the laning stage is still there. Boom already doing a fantastic job just in terms of last hits in this lane. He's built up a 500 net worth lead. I want to dive onto Gordon. Split Earth comes down. Actually, level two points into that. They, will they find the kill? They want to snipe it. Yes, they will. Abed no getting lower and lower. Does have a fairy fire. Will not use it. So both of the mid lanes will fall here. Now Poppy attempting to maybe perhaps try and find. You don't really have people to play with with your uh, diabolic edict to have that tower pressure. As he might be oh able to get gosh, the skill finding Gordon. Gordon. Look at that. Yeah, as you said, focusing on the laning stage, and with that they get it. So. I, I guess that's why you level the, uh, the split earth if you want to do really well during the laning stage. And they actually may be able to turn around here with another split earth, able to avoid the sacred arrow there. The pulse over coming out. Well, they found the kill into onto Arfu. Arfu will be okay. The blood grenade being committed down to MJZ. MJZ is okay. Oh, here comes the tree. Oh, the tree. And denied nice to deny. the neutrals. The mud golems get the kill. Very, very nicely done, and they get the uh, power rune secured up on this top side. So nice oh. laning stage performance coming up from Arbed here. Maybe they get a kill onto Afu. Oh yes, oh yes, here comes the split earth, kaboom! Kill onto the bat, and a kill for Arbed again. He is having a great time here on the Lushrek. Mm-hmm, and he's even going to be able to click up, clear up this. They're actually going hunting right now, trying to find Crystalis. Nice observer ward that's going to scout him out. Oh. Well, they just set up here with a disruption. They will split her full down. He does have himself the Sunder, so can uh, turn it around. Yep, Ahmed. Sunder comes out. Metamorphosis is there. Arena, though, comes out from Gabby. Then to get back around and deleting Chrysalis on the terrible. So here comes Arthur. With the lasso. Arthur wants himself Ahmed. Stop. He split Earth, but Ahmed, he's still fine for the time being. As no avalanche he's getting lower and lower. He may be found, yet the avalanche comes up there. So Secret will get a return kill. They will avenge Crystalis. They got the kill. Tim's ended up being the one to claim it up. But again, it doesn't really matter all that much. You're just trying to slow down this TB's timings so that he can't get into the dragon lands. He can't get into that Eye of Scardi that's going uh -oh. to make your life a whole lot more challenging. Corden. Corden. Yeah, he was speared there. Now the frostbite comes out. He is in some trouble. In comes Palace with a rotation. Chrono's here is ready. He could, could just commit it here onto Poppy. He's going. No, he will not be able to. The leap. The leap is there. Don't know if they'll be able to protect this tower, though. Looks like Gabby just wants to cut the wave. You've got uh, Arbed up here with two points? Three points in the Diabolic Edict. Are they going to just Chrono? Yeah, I, I think it's yeah. worth Split Earth? Oh, no, he's too far away. Uh, well, it's it's oh, worth if they get the fear. kill. <laughs> fear misses. Afu. They go to the low ground. Oh, the Gods Rebe misses there too. Oh, time walks forward though. That should be a kill. Yeah, there we go. Actually goes to Tim's, interestingly, there with the Shadow Poison. They could get a kill, but Gabby also here with a blink. Gabby's there. Maybe he they go for be able the to get that. They will. Arena. Fear is there. Chrono's fear ready. They could Chrono too. Avalanche comes out in return. Rotation now from Crystalis with the Metamorphosis. Breno is there. Palos has nice to be careful. Boom is still okay for some time. Palos will time walk away. The spear. Boom is still alive, but he may fall here from the Shadow Poison. They do find Abed though there in return. Tim's getting incredibly low. Assassinate onto the Crystal Maiden. MJZ is down a low. <laughs> Double assassinate from Corden. Oh, that's what you like. The refresh. And you get a kill with the assassinate. Another assassinate coming in. Boom onto Gabby, but Gabby will get the kill with Boom actually still hanging around here in the team fight. Actually, oh. Chris Bliss trying to find him there with the metamorph. This again, Gabby gets his way out. Does Tim's get out though? Uh, the assassinate's ready. Gordon not going to commit it though. 
I mean, that was a uh, an OS frog moment with the uh, the assassinate refresh. Another assassinate coming in, and boom, he gets another one. This feels a little easier to confirm a lot of these kills, Radiant right? And well, Arbit's making a bit of a rotation oh. towards there. They're trying to try and get a pick off onto Corda. Yeah, they'll finally Great get some spear again. That's a dead sniper. And that's a lot of gold going the way of Abed. 500 gold. Continue to protect Corden. Mm -hmm. Early purchase up of the uh, the Aghanim shard for Puppy as well. Just makes it that much easier to quickly clear out oh. a lot Venus, of these spears. Alfu is dead. Alos gets the kill. Nicely done. It's revealing on the lane. Might force Crystalis to make the uh, direct move away from him, and that he does. He's moving as far away from that Faceless Void and Lashrac as possible. Oh, wow, okay, yeah. Combining all of those There's spells that together. Combo. <laughs> yeah, Avalanche can toss Sacred Arrow and Assassinate. Level 4 on Avalanche and toss, then can still look for something here. Maybe perhaps pick off MJZ, or is he actually going for Palos hit? Once we get the Avalanche and Toss with a Sacred Arrow, it will connect the rotation coming in. Oh, the Star Storm, it will actually be enough. Puppy gets the kill, but in return, Boom will fall here from the Freezing Field along with that Diabolic Edict there too. That was a beautiful pickoff coming out. Very nicely done by him just to be able to work that one out, guarantee that he got the double Star Storm onto him. They're looking to try and pick out another one, but Arthur's positioned very aggressively. It's going to get picked off quite easily, even wasting the Moonlight Shadow out of that one as well. So, I mean, no Faceless Void to be able to make plays with for now. Big support this game. Really solid in the laning stage. Constantly getting away from ganks. No deaths so far. And he's popped like two separate smokes now. Yeah. And got a kill onto the end. Oh! Okay. Aggressive last though, finding Abed. Lovely stuff from Arfu as now they'll attempt to try and take down Tim's here. Gabby able to PP away there with a BKB. They will find two here though on secret. It's possibly three as Crystal Maiden stunned up there by the assassinate. Double kill for Crystalis. Was not expecting that blink initiation there from Arfu with the lasso. Sort. Out Epi, we're about to have some five-man Dota coming up here. Like, oh, here we go. Oh, Lasso again. Ah, but, I mean, the secret arrow does not connect, but slow down here. Disruption got is there. Just got his Just got delivered. Ahmed is dead, yep. Yeah. We will find a Chrono, though, onto two. Arena is ready. Lovely spear there onto the Terrorblade, stopping the usage there of Sunder as they turn it around. I'm likely finding themselves two, possibly three, going on. At oh, Arfu. Taken out. They will lose three there, so... Money Monkey King Bar Buyers, so maybe that was why he did it. Um, but this game, I feel like the Moonlight Shadow would be quite good. Oh, the smoke broken. Oh no, the last one again. Abed has just been bullied as the Sacred Arrow comes out as well. He is found and taken out along with Tim's there too. They will lose two on Blacklist. As maybe perhaps they'll try and go for more here in the arena, coming out defensively there with the BKB from Gabby. Will get away along with maybe Palos as well. He's been found out here. Nice man to dodge there. Stopping the assassinate, but in comes an avalanche and a toss there too. Do they have anything more for Palos? He will be able to time walk himself away as himself the chronosphere. He's actually going to turn it around here and actually go to R2, actually taking him out along with maybe perhaps Boom as well. There's the assassinate. Avalanche is on cooldown for three more seconds. It's all because of this time dilation. Stopping mm. that cooldown from coming back. Look online. at the courier. Uh, courier just trying to say, hit me instead, hit me, don't worry about <laughs> Palos. And, well, maybe provide that little bit of confusion, saying, what the hell is this guy doing here? Radiance Allows him to get on back, they get a return kill, but again, it's just that initiation coming through from Arfu. They do find Boom, like though. They might be able to Avalanche. get Boom. Yeah. Abed, though, he wants vengeance. Coming forward here with his Blink Dagger. They do indeed find it, getting the kill there onto Boom. Puppy. Going Aegis now. Oh, Lasso. Hold on. Well, Gabby. I mean, take you lots of damage there from Secret. Wow. How, how, how much damage? Um, with the leap and the star storm. <laughs> Jesus. This has turned out to be a real MVP here on the Marauder. And now they find and themselves out there, there too. There's Gets the, the Bloodstone off this I mean, time. It doesn't connect. Yeah, he does have himself the Bloodstone, but it's going to be found. And it's it's into a Scardi. That's yeah. the downside, right? Like, that Scardi was so effective against him. It's... He desperately needs this BKB on the Lashrak. And I feel like th this is the... Oh, so... It's... Okay, the, the Glimmer Cape on 
MJZ isn't the worst, considering most of the initiation is going to come single target as opposed yeah. to AoE. So if he's on point, this this ward is giving them a lot of vision though. Oh, Palos, he's been found there by the Lasso Sacred Arrow, comes in along with Avalanche. Look at that, they're just able to take him out again, and that Aegis is gone within a matter of just one minute. It was able to. They, of course, knew that no one was in that area because of that Observer Ward that he just got rid of, and well, that means Puppy's almost level 18. 28 minutes into this game as a position 5 Marana, the only person in this game that has not died. Hey, who has died cool, though? though. Also. <laughs> he got, I mean, he got you feel so three. much more confident on Arbid as long as that bat ride is out of the map, right? Like you don't have more seconds, we'll see the real time is coming back. Uh, around about now. Five seconds! Arbid, okay. Arbid, he's walking into boom! He walked into boom. boom here too, yeah. Crossbites there as the rest of Blacklist uh, found he doesn't the have tiny, tiny down as they now I'm going to scout out the Roshan with that bit of being spawning back in about five seconds. And looks like they're just going to take themselves a Roshan now. It's always the cast of Jinx. Oh, it's always. Anytime we say something, they do the opposite. They're going to go Abbott. for initiation here onto Abba, but he has been able to activate that BKB BK. there. They won't get themselves to lasso. They're going to go on the retreat here onto Secret as now Blacklist is not going to engage. Gabby here, ready. Link Dagger coming off cooldown. They found themselves off through, but a lasso coming down now onto Faceless into a Sacred Arrow. Do they have enough damage to take down the Faceless? Yes, they do. Look at that lovely stuff there from Secret, but they blink forward there onto Gabby. Found themselves in Arena onto two. Boom. Going to attempt to TP, but it's cancelled there by the Yules. They'll find themselves off through along with Boom there too. Two kills. But they do take down the Aegis. That was a lovely play there with the lasso with the Sacred Arrow coming into effect. Taking down the Aegis. Feels really easy to be able to make that play though, right? Secrets draft is pretty easy to execute. Currently at the oh wait, okay. They they've actually just got vision there on Palos with a deep observer ward there, and they're gonna go right for the smoke. This smoke is gonna break right on Gabby though. He, he's close got yet. A there it is off two. Oh nice last though. Do they have themselves this going a lovely save. disruption from the hands of the Shadow Demon though? Tips will fall, Arena will come out, they turn it around here, they find themselves boom, boom, dead. As MJZ will be found there by the assassin. Oh, they found the sniper. That's caught Corden. Corden will fall. It's the two for two. Crystal is now with the BKP and the Metamorphosis. Wants to go uh, for the Lashrak here. Abed activating that BKP, but is he able to get away? Another arena coming out with the spear. Crystal has to be careful here. He's been stopped up with the something. There it is, but I don't think it's going to save him. It's not. The wipe. Secret of gone. There's also a buyback here coming up from the Shadow Demon. I think they pretty much just lose themselves some supports and that's it for a team wipe. Perfectly fine here for Blacklist as now they go possibly to uh, to clean up the base here from Secret. Yeah, I mean, they have no additional uh, glyphage onto him instead of the Lashrak. So they wanted to be able to take out Arbed. They weren't able to do so. And Hold on, they're committing. Oh, Arena again. Oh, they found themselves spotted. This is very close to the fountain, but there's no follow-up. But they do get this the kill there onto Boom. Off Boom coming out with the lasso here. Wants to bring some into the fountain. They have. Who's this? They found themselves out there. He is able to get himself out there Wind with Waker. the Wind Waker. So he is just out of there. They do find themselves too. The buyback here from Boom here also. And Mirana. No, they found themselves three. The response that they were wanting is Gabby. He's the one that's getting gone on. Still a couple of seconds left on that refresher. They really want to take away this vision that they've got. They're all hanging out for him, though. Yeah, they're going for an initiation here. Chrono in five more seconds. They have it available now. Palos, he's got it ready. He's going to commit it there. Chrono wants to two. They find it. Sus, boom. Boom, step with no buyback here. As they find themselves a second. Refresher. Chrono here with the refresher. All coming up from Palos. Finding Corden. Double kill here for the faceless. A lasso comes out in return here onto MJZ. But he looks like he is going to survive. Yes, he will. And it's team wipe there. On to secret again. GG. Game one will be going to blacklist here. Absolutely amazing stuff from Gabby on this last pick of the month. His ultimate is just TP away as well. Um, and that's really, I think, what Secret are going to be playing around. But the thing is, you've got a Techies that you're playing alongside with as well. So he's just going to be wanting to try and follow up onto Boom. Speaking of him, you've actually got Tim's rotating. Oh, blast off there. Lovely nice. snowball usage though, which dodges the blast off as they may find Boom here. They will do so indeed. Getting the first blood there, taking down the like and lovely stuff from Tim's there with the rotation of that snowball. 
Gabby is okay. Meanwhile, Frodo's fit. Activated there onto Arfu. Bash is there. Finds the kill. Nice pick off there for Palos. CNTP's coming in here. Having to be very careful. No boat. Focus fire there too, along with the ice path. Lovely stuff. It actually finds the kill onto Abed and Tim's not able to get off the snowball. Will fall there from the power shot there too. And Chrysalis just rotating in, getting a double kill there on the... The cookie cutter build every single game, right? They actually use their brain and think, what is needed in this game? Do I need a little bit of extra armor for this lane? Do I need to change up my item or skill build to something that's a little bit unorthodox as they get a free kill? Oh, they do, yeah. They're going for Corden right now. The boat comes in. Abed in trouble. Is found there and taken out. So it will be a one for one with Boom activating the shapeshift now, trying to find MJZ here as well. He'll get himself a double kill. This Helm of the Dominator starting to work out now, but Palos does not have himself time up for another 10 seconds. Maybe perhaps they can get the kill. The Xbox there connecting Chrysalis onto the face of the point. He's going to bring him back right into a torrent. The focus fire coming out in return as well from Chrysalis with that shackle shot, able to get the triple kill here on Boom. That is very nice here for Secret. They may even find themselves a tier one tower. The Wind Ranger, physical damage. Blade Mail, it hurts. <laughs> MJZ about All to nice die. X marks. Catching him back. The Supernova comes out, but they have enough to take it out and they just uh, destroy that egg in literally two seconds. I don't think you know. You need to try and delay it for as long as possible. It's a nice Observer Ward there, placed by MJZ. Oh, be careful. MJZ will need to be on point here with the save. If Palace goes out and just freely farms that, look, they're coming from both directions. Oh yeah, here we go. They got the X marks here onto Palos. The boat's kind of come in. It will have an effect. It doesn't time walk away. Doesn't have enough time. The supernova does indeed come out defensively there. It will be a one-for-one -one trade. Now here comes the stampede, but they're not able to follow up. They've caught themselves. Gabby, Gabby in some trouble, activating that blade mail there, holding his ground whilst being healed up there by MJZ. But it's only level one sun ray. It's not going to do a lot. Boat, uh, not boat, the snowball save comes in there. They caught themselves the shackle shot onto Tim's. Tim's attempting to flee there with the eye shot usage, but caught there by a torrent and the power shot as the Wolves will get the kill. Bringing back Gabby now there with an X Mox here too, but Faceless Void is back alive. Is the back. Krona will be committed. Nice, it's found there onto two, stopping that TP there from Boom. They will find themselves the kill there onto Corden and Boom there too. Just hanging around a little bit too long here on the side of Secret. But if he's able to buy it, that maybe means, ooh, he's gonna be able to get away. This is a deep dive. Oh, no, he's caught there. Oh, just able to commit the supernova there before the blast off has an effect. So supernova Arfu. comes off. It doesn't cancel the TP, but the snowball does. Arfu will be found there with that aggressive dive. It just becomes a little bit more challenging for the Lycan and his units and the Wind Ranger to run around and try and focus people down. Oh, no, they call themselves Tim's here again. Torrent. Casting him up in the air. Snowball comes out for the time being, but it looks like he may fall here. Warus Punch comes out, but the, the Black Dragon Quarter. finds the kill. Boat coming in now defensively there too. Abed trying to flee underneath this tier 3 tower. He will get out, but now you're just starting to see this dominance coming out here from Boom since he has himself this Helm of the Overlord now. Yeah, they wanted to make that turnaround happen, but Palos just didn't have mana to be able to drop the Chronosphere. He had it available. Maybe they go for it now onto Crystalis. Yes, he will. He's going to commit it. Try and find the wind run off there. Though. They do get the kill, though. But thanks to that split earth there, Still too. Stampede. stampede will be committed. As they're trying to chase Arfu as well as Gabby finding Puppy here. Then their side of the map, Arfu will be found, and it looks like they'll find Puppy there, too. So. They'll take out the two supports there with the carry. It's a nice job there from Blacklist Rivalry. Mm -hmm. Probably should be able to get a mid-tier one tower as well. Full. Did they see that? If they s I think they might have seen Tim's get hit by the smoke. And they're still going to just get the tower for free with the Helm of the Overlord. As they go for this full-on smoke of their own. Shard now yeah. up on Phoenix. x out is going to bring back Gabby. Lovely snowball save there, but in comes Boom now with the shapeshift. Supernova coming out there in return. Are they going to focus the Supernova here? It will actually come off. Arfu will fall along with Corden there too. And Puppy. Puppy will fall. They lose three. Chronosphere now being committed here just onto three. Crystalis. Crystalis down. Boom is still hanging around here. I mean, what target is he going for? He's going to try to attempt to go for Abed here, but a lovely split earth. 
actually saves him. They take down Chrysalis. Boom will retreat here. As with the, that, even with that Aegis, they will lose themselves for and maybe it won't make its way out to him before this team fight breaks out. We see Might Poppy like farming. A, just a free kill onto Poppy. Yep. Yeah, this coming in now. With that split earth and the walrus punch there too. Dust of appearance finds the kill. Easy peasy. Meanwhile, Gabby actually scouting out for Arfu here as the stomp comes into effect there. Trying to find the kill. Being disarmed there. Lovely oh, the from MJZ coming in with the Icarus dive. They find the kill onto both the supports here. Very, very nicely done once again. Need this Aegis at all. They're starting to the very well. Is great. Yeah, I know, as in comes a stomp there as well. They're going to try and find Puppy again. The Dust of Appearance is there. As uh, that Jakiro is gone, down and dead. Dominating inside the Chronosphere. Everything's coming up Blacklist right now. Radiance oh, top tower. maybe perhaps they're going to try and jump Chrysalis, Chrysalis here. He's stuck. Oh, in between the tree line there, the stomp comes off. That's a lot of nuke damage. Goodbye, Wind Ranger. Chrysalis just found and taken out. The Warus punch there as well onto Boom, Ooh. but he is able yeah, to but... flee with the shapeshift. That's the bad thing, though. You don't want to just be popping shapeshift to flee. That's your aggressive tool. That's the way to be able to get in onto the back lines and take out this pesky phoenix that's just been the absolute bane of your existence. Oh, no. I mean, he's going into a nullifier next, and it's going to be quite some time. As, uh, yeah, Afu probably going to die here. Yeah, he's found. Bashed up. Will not be able to TP away. Will be taken out. Although, Boom's just TP'd into three heroes here on Blacklist Rivalry. Is going to be met with a death here. Was not expecting them to be there. Did not have themselves any vision near this outpost and will just be deleted. This Aegis, this could mean trouble for them further on into this game. Oh, they're going to go for Tim's here. Will they be able to get the kill with the shackle shot? Yes, they will. Tim's will fall in return, though. Gabby coming in with a stomp there. Chronosphere is ready. It connects onto three there. Palos laying into Puppy will find the kill. Corden, though, is he able to activate the Torrent Storm? Yes, he is. The Stampede coming off now. But Corden in some trouble here as Palos trying to pursue him, bashing him up. There we go. Finding themselves three. They only lose the supports here on Blacklist Rivalry. Now trying to find Boom here also, but Boom still laying into Abed, but healing up here, he's still okay. That shapeshift now going to expire. They find Boom. There we go. Four dead on the side here. A secret. They will only lose the support. A worthy trade here for Blacklist Rivalry. Now they can possibly look to take themselves the tier three bottom. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Oh, no. Crystalis, he's going to be found. He wanted to go for an aggressive play there. On to Abed. Oh, dear. 